Hi, my name is Paula from EOS. We offer additive manufacturing solutions for our customers all around the world. In this video, we talk about how you can successfully process copper in AM. This video was originally a part of a webinar I hosted for EOS. If you'd like to have more information about our webinars from EOS, please click the link below in the description. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to EOS's channel. Thank you. In that one, I'd like to show the current solutions that, uh, that we at AOS offer for copper and copper alloys. Um, so, as background uh, for any material that we develop, um, our mission is always to not only offer a material, but a complete solution. So, um, we do not optimize these parts as, as separate elements, uh, but instead uh, we put part properties in the center of our development and uh, we work towards delivering a working synergy between these key elements. And um, we call all these three elements together simply as the EOS quality triangle. And then if we look at um, the different uh, alloy or material options, first on pure copper, we offer two solutions. So the first one is on our standard M290 and is also the first copper material and, and a solution that we developed where you, we have a 20 micron material set and you can reach um, good conductivity levels. But um, as already mentioned during this, this webinar, um, with bringing more energy, um, you will still improve on the performance. So therefore, we've also brought out um, a solution on the one kilowatt system, an AMC M290, um, where you have a 40 micron uh, material set uh, and, and really um, the highest possible conductivity. And, and here we can uh, look at this a bit in numbers. So with the um, standard M290 um, system, you can already good, get good conductivity. We are around 90% and, and a little bit above. Um, but um, with less energy, we are uh, left with a bit more porosity in, in the parts and, uh, and the building speed is a little lower. But here you can also then utilize um, certain post-processing to, to improve the performance. On the, on the copper uh, CUCP, there we are, are really getting the ultimate, ultimate conductivity around the 100% um, mark for electrical conductivity. And also the microstructure is, uh, is dense uh, with, with low porosity and with a good build speed. And then if we look at the, the, the all-rounder, so the copper chrome zirconia alloy, also um, now talked about with the launcher example, here we have um, further options. So, um, we have a solution on the M400, the single field system, as well as on uh, the same um, AMCM M291 kilowatt system. Uh, also, um, we have not yet officially released a, a process and a material for the, the larger frame systems, the, the AMCM450 and M4K systems. But um, like you see, saw with the example, um, this can still be successfully used as a, as a solution. Thanks for watching this video about copper and AM. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to receive more information about webinars and educational content from EOS, check out the links below in the description box. And as always, we'd love to hear feedback from you in the comments. Goodbye.